Rapid developments in robotics and artificial intelligence have people worried about the future of their jobs. But is this a new concern? We've unearthed some archival footage to shed some light on the situation. Take a look. Welcome to CBC's News Gab. Today's topic, animals. They're adorable, delicious, and taking away our jobs. My guests today have all been laid off because of animal labor. First guest, tell us your name and previous occupation. I'm Gertrude Wrinklebottom, and I'm a service girl for the blind. So you lead the blind around. That's right. And then they realized that a dog could do it for cheaper. What's next? Dogs fetching our sticks? <laughs> Tragic. Next up is Mortimer Bindlesmoke. You, Mortimer, were a farmhand. Yes, that's right. But now, I mean, he has horses pulling the plow, roosters waking him up, and pigs making the fertilizer. I mean, pigs don't take joy in making the fertilizer like I do. I can make fertilizer till the cows came home. Which, by the way, took away my wife's job. I mean, now we're drinking the cow's milk. Not the same taste, is it? I hear you. Why, just today, I saw a policeman on horseback. Not rookie cop back. Horseback. So I guess we have to obey horses now? But I digress. Join us tomorrow for a doctor who's attempting to create medicine that doesn't involve cocaine or opium. <laughs> right! Until then, I'm Jebediah Mansbridge on CBC's News Gab. Good morrow. Click here to subscribe to our channel, or I will fight you! <laughs>